hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is Jason Newland this is the beginning of a new series which is going to be da, 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 daily relaxation um, so I'm going to be doing a different video every single day specifically aimed at relaxation for anxiety stress and um, panic as well it's like panic um, attacks the reason I'm doing these is because it's very close to my heart it's something that I have more in the past than now dealt with or struggled to deal with uh, especially the panic attacks uh, so it's it's an issue I've dealt with or had to try and cope with uh, for many 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 years I don't have so much of the panic attacks anymore as I used to but when I did have them uh, it affected my life so much that I lost my job, uh, lost, kind of lost everything, got into debt because I was ill, I couldn't work. Um, yeah, it's very, very difficult time. I thought I was losing my mind, I thought I was dying. I uh, ended up in the A&E or the emergency ward and hospital thinking I was having a heart attack. On at least two occasions um, it affected relationships you know, it affected everything because uh, I wasn't able to function you know I'd go out with a friend and I'd have to come home uh, because I couldn't feel my legs <laughs> my legs just went numb or because I was struggling to breathe and <clears throat> Excuse me, it's it's quite a strange thing uh, to have gone through. So, I thought I'd do a brief introduction like this, and then for the rest of the daily sessions, I'll probably just get straight into it. Um, and as I said, they'll be different every time. But... This is day one. Also, they're going to be different from the other sessions I do because they're going to be short. Um, I'm aiming about 10 minutes per session. This might be a little bit longer because of the, the waffle at the beginning. But ideally, I'm looking for about 10 minutes per day. So it just gives you a break from your day or maybe a start to your day, maybe it's a good way to start, maybe a, a way to finish your day, something to listen to before you go to sleep or, you know, wh however you want to use these sessions is up to you. But ultimately, the point of these hypnosis sessions is that any stress that you have will be reduced, any anxiety that you have will be reduced any um, panic attacks that you might be having will reduce so that you have less of them hopefully so you'll end up having no no more of them over time so that you find easier ways to relax you find it so that you can actually have a, a gap like a space between uh, the trigger and the actual reaction so if you're triggered by something which normally causes you to uh, you know feel stressed about it and go into anxiety that gap can give you a bit of breathing space and the more you listen to me the bigger the gap becomes to the point where the only way across the gap is if you put a bridge over and you have to kind of take the bridge up every time like a drawbridge so you have to actually put it down and you have to wait and it's a decision then it's a decision whether or not you uh, allow that trigger to trigger you into uh, 
those uncomfortable feelings and unwanted feelings that have messed with your life and have not been helpful generally or are you going to say no I'm not putting the drawbridge down I'm not going to allow those feelings you know it's a decision it becomes a decision at the moment it may not feel like a decision but it will become a decision with mindfulness and with noticing how you physically feel emotionally feel throughout the day not just when you're listening to my voice but throughout the door the day you have an opportunity to make those small decisions So I'm going to do something to start with, which is going to be probably the weirdest thing ever. And don't worry, I'm not going to dress up as a clown or anything like that. Um, what I'd like us to do is to actually thank the stress, thank the anxiety, thank the panic attacks. And I understand that it probably seems like a really, really weird, strange, odd, unusual thing to do. But there's something about moving on from that. There's something about actually acknowledging it. Because the anxiety actually gets your attention. The stress get your attention, the panic attacks get your attention. This is a case of what are they trying to communicate to you? What are those feelings trying to communicate to you? And in a lot of cases, it's they're trying to communicate for you to listen to your body listen to your thoughts listen to how you're feeling notice your stress levels to respect your body to respect your mind and to have respect for your life and to really realize that you're a human being and there's a level that maybe you shouldn't push yourself beyond there's a level that you need to take control of how you feel, maybe noticing how you're feeling. And that's what hypnosis can give you. That's what daily uh, meditative mindfulness, whatever you want to call it, hypnosis can give you. It's by just taking 10 minutes out of the day to allow yourself to just let go but at the same time you can kind of hold and support yourself so you're not ignoring how you feel you're not pushing away how you feel you're not trying to hold on to some pleasurable feelings or if you're like most of the people in the world you're not trying to hold on to unpleasant feelings either seems weird that any of us would try and hold on to those but there is a comfort in familiarity it's not always useful though so that's what these sessions are about these sessions are a gradual process a gradual progress a gradual moving forward each day at a time and of course, you can always revisit any day that you choose and go back and listen to this session. Go back and listen to session 10 if you're on session 14, for example. Just keep going backwards and forwards. And if there's a particular session that you really found most useful, then you can you know, put that in your favorites. And revisit, re-listen, re-watch as many times as you choose to. It'll be here on YouTube and also be on SoundCloud um, podcast as well. 
the links are on my website jasonnewland.com so you can listen to them on SoundCloud or you can watch them on YouTube so this is going to be a daily hypnosis session for relaxation every day this is day one I don't know how long for I don't know how long the um, daily relaxation sessions will last but my intention at the moment is to keep it going as long as possible which is why I'm not going to try and commit to an hour long session every day because that would be um, possibly a mistake to try and uh, commit to that but 10 minutes a day yeah I can do that and relaxation is pretty much the easiest thing in the world to do with hypnosis because although you don't need relaxation with hypnosis in order to do hypnosis for other things you know you don't need the person to be completely relaxed in order for them to uh, gain benefit from a hypnosis session I find it helps and I find it always happens. Relaxation causes, um, hypnosis causes relaxation. It's just the two go together. So what this does is your whole body just feels more relaxed. And what will happen is the more you see me, the more you see my face on these videos, the more you hear my voice, the quicker you'll become relaxed to the point where you'll just press play on the new video, whatever day it is, and you'll already feel relaxed just by pressing play on the video or just by seeing that there's a new video there or maybe just by thinking about me, thinking about, um, you know, the hypnosis sessions and maybe wondering in your mind, I wonder what today's session will be like and you can feel relaxed there and then instantly just by thinking about me just by imagining my voice so there's that connection there's that link and that's what I would call a positive trigger there's no need for a gap no need for a drawbridge for that one because you can allow that trigger to naturally trigger good feelings, happy feelings, healthy feelings. And to have more of those kind of feelings, not just connected to me, but connected to all kinds of things in your life. Maybe being able to have a, uh, a positive, relaxed feeling connected to the drive to work or the train journey to work compared to maybe what you currently have, if it's not that. Just small things can make a huge difference to your life. So, and I've been talking for you know nearly 14 minutes, but I'm gonna do a relaxation session now. And I wanted to do this introduction because I think it's important to really tell you where I'm coming from and to tell you what my plans are for each session. Um, but my intention is to just get down to it every day and just do a new session and just start by asking you to close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so, which I'll ask you to do now. What we're going to do is just an awareness session. And I don't know if you heard just as we were talking or as I was talking to you then, there were some background sounds, uh, which is really not, not a lot I can do about. Uh, there's not huge amounts of background sounds here. I've got the windows closed. I've got the door closed. I've got, you know, I try to make it as uh, um, soundproof as possible. Um, I close the door, make sure Andre's not coming in here, running around. Um, he's my little ferret. He's my son. Uh, because if I have him in here, it will be climbing up the, the, the microphone stand. And 
and that's not really ideal. So if your eyes with your eyes closed, and I'll start off every time with asking you to close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so, because I don't see the point in trying to um, coerce you into closing your eyes, you know, trying to um, lead you into some kind of a eye closing scenario and trying to trick you into it or trying to kind of, you know, force you to close your eyes and all that stuff. It's much easier just to say, close your eyes. And then you can just focus on how you physically feel. And I'll be doing exactly the same as what you do. I'll be doing it as I speak it. So I'll be focusing on how I feel. And sometimes I'll mention how I feel physically. And uh, I do try and make it as vague as possible to try and uh, fit in with everybody that's watching the video or listening to the audio. Because I know that we've all got our own ways of perceiving things. So I don't try necessarily to be too specific, but sometimes I might be. And you know, just have to forgive me if, if I'm too specific on some, in some ways. Fortunately, your unconscious mind knows this. And it knows that really, whatever you need or require your unconscious mind will support you on that. And because the intention is there, the intention is there within you to relax. That's why you're listening to this session. That's why you're sitting there or lying down, however, whatever position you're in, with your eyes closed, listening to my voice. That's why you're doing this, because your intention is to relax. And because your unconscious mind knows that, it therefore communicates with me by listening to my words and allowing you to relax in whatever way is suitable for you. In whatever way, you know, the words that come out of my mouth will be then interpreted into your unconscious mind towards your body, your mind, or the muscles in such a way as to allow your body to feel more relaxed and calm naturally and easily. And it's not really anything that you need to do. You can just follow the words that I say. It's more a case of just noticing, just noticing how you physically feel. As I maybe focus on certain parts of your body, maybe your shoulders, your right and left shoulder. Perhaps you weren't thinking about your shoulders until just this second when I mention it. But now you can focus on your shoulders, you can notice your shoulders relaxing, your arms and your hands also relaxing, your forehead your jaw relaxing and your eyes you know your eyelids all the tiny little muscles around your eyes relaxing your mouth and your tongue your gums your teeth all relaxing your throat relaxing and then you've got your head at the top of your head and pretty much the whole of your scalp all the way down the back of your head the side of your head and your ears all relaxing the back of your neck and all the muscles that connect and all those parts of your body, the spine, the airwaves, the tubes where the food goes through your mouth into your stomach, 
call that area in your neck such an important area all relaxing and your back all the way from the upper back through the middle of your back all the way down to your lower back relaxing and you can feel that sensation in your chest relaxing the feeling in your stomach your abdominal region and the sides of your stomach the sides of your body joining your stomach your front and your back all relaxing you got your hips such an important part of your body your hips that take a lot of strain throughout the day continuously whether you're sitting up or whether you're standing turning your hips are constantly taking the weight of your upper body relaxing your groin area relaxing your buttocks again another area that's quite often ignored when it comes to relaxation techniques but it's a place that can really hold tension I know for me I find that I get quite tense in my buttocks especially sitting down for long periods of time it's nice to actually feel that sense of relaxation go deep inside relaxing all the muscles of your buttocks and now focusing on your thighs they take a lot of stress as you're walking around it's a large part of your body your thighs I know technically they're not your body it's your limbs but it's a large part so lots of muscles there large muscles and anywhere where there's a, a large muscle mass stress can be held sometimes even hidden so you can allow both of your thighs to relax deeply allow that relaxation to really sink inside now noticing your knees another really important part which is often ignored but the knees sometimes we don't realize how important the knees are to us until one of them doesn't work very well for whatever reason due to an injury or something like that and you realize just how important your knee is so allowing your knees to relax deeply And you can spread that feeling from your knees all the way down your calves and your shins your ankles and into your feet and your toes allowing all that feeling of relaxation just to flow through your body from your toes again back down to the top of your head all the way down your body your face your neck, your shoulders, chest and back, stomach, groin, hips, legs, all the way down to your toes, 
and again starting at relaxation again from the top of your head all the way down and just allow that to continue to swirl gently and softly and as that happens as that relaxation increases in your body and in your head we can start to get a feeling a feeling of gratitude a sense of being thankful it doesn't matter how strong this feeling is it doesn't matter how powerful the feeling is it doesn't have to be forced at all it's just there naturally just allow it to be there and you can attach those feelings to the words and you can just repeat after me the following three sentences the first sentence thank you anxiety I'll say it again you can say it at the same time Thank you, anxiety. Just allow that to be absorbed into your mind and body. And the next sentence. Thank you, stress. Again, I'll say it again. And you can say it at the same time as me to give it double the power. Thank you, stress. And the last sentence. Thank you, panic attacks. I'll repeat it and you can re say it at the same time as me. Now. Thank you. Panic attacks. And allow those words, those feelings to be absorbed into your body and into your mind. Because what you're doing right now is saying to the anxiety that you're no longer afraid of it you're telling the anxiety it's no longer an enemy to be feared you're telling the anxiety that you realize that it's there for a reason and you're telling it that you've learnt the reason and you're going to do something about it you're telling the anxiety that you no longer need it so thank you anxiety but you no longer need it you've proven that by listening to my voice you've proven that by watching this video you've proven that by giving yourself relaxation by giving yourself permission to make those gradual changes which will change your life by saying thank you to stress again you're telling the stress to you appreciate what it's done, you appreciate how it's guided you to realize that you need to make changes for your own health. 
you're also telling the stress, thank you, but you no longer need that stress anymore. Because you're moving forward with relaxation. You're moving forward in a new direction of calmness, changing your life in a positive way. And by thanking the panic attacks, you're basically saying thank you for the warning. Thank you for letting me know that I needed to make changes. Thank you for letting me know that I needed to be more aware of how I physically feel and how I emotionally feel. Thank the panic attacks for alerting you of your stress levels that need to be reduced. And for allowing you to make those changes that have led you here, listening to my voice, watching my video, making positive changes as you travel forward in this new direction towards happiness, deep, deep relaxation and towards a life worth living. With a mind of comfort. Open. And healed. As your body also heals. More every day. As you let go gradually of those things that are no longer necessary. And you embrace those things that make your life wonderful. And worthwhile. I'm going to count from one to three, and when I get to three, that will be the end of this session for today. One, two, and every time you hear my voice or see my videos, will naturally and easily become completely relaxed. One. Two. Three. So you can open your eyes if you choose to do so. That's the end of this session. As I said earlier, well, I'm saying it now, but I wasn't intending for it to be this long. I'm intending the sessions to be about 10 minutes on the average daily session. They may go over, but that's my aim. I can't always, I'm not always very good at doing short things because I waffle on so much, but I'm gonna to attempt to do a short, relaxation sessions. So I will be here again tomorrow. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, I'd love it if you could uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you could like the video, if you indeed like it, and please leave a comment. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.
Bye.